There has been an outbreak in the OnlyCans world, causing panic with a lot of women in the industry. And it's because of this man, Gucci Third Leg. The name is self-explanatory, but that's besides the point. OnlyCans, I'm saying OnlyCans because uh, YouTube, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to get demonetized or blah, 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 whatever, you get it. Anyway, OnlyCans creator Gucci Third Leg, whose actual name is Alotosin Tubo. Uh, he was exposed for allegedly spreading the H, we're gonna call it H, that's the actual name, YouTube purposes. He was known to collaborate with several mainstream corn stars and social media users. Third Leg is currently facing scrutiny for the accusations that have since gone viral on social media. I want to spit in somebody's mouth. Stop hold on, hold on. Let me spit in your mouth. Oh! <laughs> Everything unfolded after creator Danae Davis accused Gucci the third leg of knowingly infecting her with the H. In her video, Danae claimed that when she was 19 years old, she collaborated with third leg and failed to disclose his status. She alleged that she noticed a sore on his third leg, but according to him, the cut came from a shaving incident. So with this situation, his videos in the past have started to go viral. And you know what's the crazy thing? Third Leg is trying to take advantage of it and collab with other content creators who are not even in the same field. Like, bro, what? Gucci Third Leg, get your ass out my chat. I'm not playing with you today, bro. Get your ass out my chat. You have her confirmed. It's a lock. I don't want to see you in my no more. Don't don't come in this talking about let's collab. What you gonna me? gay ass? Let's collab and do what? Let's collab and do what? What are we gonna collab? We gonna do a Mookie Bang? I don't want none of your DNA genetication, genetics, I mean. I don't want none of your RNA, none of your chromies, none of that. There's no collabs we could possibly do in this world. No collabs, gang. Sorry, Gucci Long, get the f out of here. Um, I'm here to tell you guys that uh, allegedly Gucci Third Leg is out here giving people HSV2, that is genital herpes. If you collabed with him and then found out a month to three months later that you have genital herpes, there's a high likelihood that you got got by that man. Um, please go get tested if you did have any collaborations with him. I know a lot of people are being insensitive and saying like, oh, he fucked everybody raw, how are you surprised? Um, uh, a lot of people aren't aware of his gross or abusive ways um, until they actually experience it. They don't see it on social media. So I'm gonna say this a couple times on my platform to make sure that the word gets out because I have now a big platform. Gucci, I've been waiting for this. Devastating, but I just got another phone call to Gucci's third leg infected another girl allegedly with hsv2 if you are a victim of this man please come forward text me personally i will get your story i'm just gonna say yes he gave it to me it's devastating to have to come on here and share that whenever i was 19 years old gucci third leg burned me with hsv2 and he told me that he was gonna send me his test results and he never did. And it saddens me to hear that he's done this to so many girls. And there's girls with so many similar stories to me. And they're so young as well. He is preying on the young. He is preying on the new. And I'm so sorry for not saying this seven months ago. I was scared. And I was making so much money. I just... I, I can't keep beating around the bush because you guys think I'm lying. And he can't ruin anybody else's life. I didn't know. I didn't know what he was known for. I didn't know who he was. I didn't do my research. And it is my fault. I know the people that already have it know exactly what I'm talking about. But whenever you realize and find out that you have something as severe as that, it, it's heartbreaking. It causes you to go through an immense amount of trauma and depression. I was going through so much at the time and i've already gone through so much so at the time it was very hard for me to speak up about anything i do fully disclose anybody that i have interactions with i tell them before hearing these girls sob and not know what to do because she even went on youtube to go full length pause on explaining the situation of this third leg thing. Gucci lying about this cut he got on his third leg to get some butt is insane, but this is the world we live in. She then took to Twitter with tirades of posts, including this viral tweet with some pictures that look like proof of him having some crotch crickets down there. <clears throat> I'm not gonna show the pictures on YouTube because you know, YouTube uh, be trifling and it would be crazy for me to show it. It's just, ugh. But I will read what she tweeted. This should be all the proof y'all need. I'm mortified and ashamed that I didn't come and say it back in March when I got the positive result. Sadly, it's my fault that y'all are coming to me saying he burned you. He lied to me and said he cut himself while shaving. He told he'd send me his test results and never sent them. I was 19 and naive, brand new to collabing. I was only shooting content with partners. I was scared of losing all the money. That doesn't mean anything to me now. I reposted the vids to milk the money that I felt like he owed me. 
He changed my life forever. I was speaking in third person because I was too afraid of what would come, but I can't stand to let people think I'm just lying. Gucci third leg, you will burn in hell for what you did to me and these young women. And then she drops the pictures that I'm not gonna show because it's nasty, very, very nasty. The comments are crazy too when people found out about this mess. I mean, looking at some of his posts on Instagram, he's giving subtle clues of what he got going on. Not your <laughs> fault. You're right. It's not my fault. It's your So naturally, this made everyone who was involved in this situation scared. Not just only Cannes models, but streamers who were linked in this tomfoolery as well. So let's go down the list of some streamers real quickly. Deshay Frost, an actor who turned YouTuber, who now recently turned a freaky streamer, was with Danae on a stream in June 2024. He then gave a response a couple days after Gucci and Danae went viral. I do not have peace. I actually talked to Danae when she came on my stream in June, right? We um, talked after the stream and that's when I knew. I knew before the whole world knew. In June, after the stream. When the time I personally, not to put people's business out, but the time I had to her was in December when I shot my season three. My season three. When she came on stream, we talked and she was she pulled me to the side and she respectfully, she was like, yo, I have, you know what I'm saying? So-and-so gave me this and I just want to let you know before, you know what I'm saying? Like anything further, cause I know we had, you know, back then. So I was like, for sure, like, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know why people speaking on my name. First of all, bro, like, when was the last time, you know, we had relations? The only time we really had was whenever I was on your show. In December. we were filming in, the show. In December, right? I think that was November, actually. November, yeah, yeah. We shot the end of November and we posted it in December. Um, yeah. When did you, when did you, like, contract, you know what I'm saying? Like, I contracted her. February 10th or the 13th, one of those two days, and I didn't find out that I had her so March. February, okay. March 30th. Okay, okay, bet. <laughs> bite that pink gummy bear. That's what it is. Come bite it. Come on. You bite it. Bite it? Yeah. Oh, I'll bite that mom. And I told you to bite it, so bite it. You ain't gonna tell me twice. What the Ha! Why are you taking so long? <laughs> Oh wait, don't bite me hard. Nah, nah, nah. nah. They okay. gonna clip this before. I'm good. For <laughs> ah, that tastes good. Let me eat. Have you ever had your eat before? I have. For real? Yeah, we're golden too. The first time I ever got my steak. One more time. I don't think I got a good bite. Just a just a regular bite. I'm just gonna do a regular bite. If you bite the shit out of me. No, I'm not. I'm just gonna do a light bite. You ready? Uh huh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I only have one chance. I only have one chance. All right. All right. All right. March 2024 is when she said she tested positive for the H, and this stream took place June 2024, so three months later. Or even Melt, who is a streamer as well. He's known for fumbling women and having no game. He's been in E-dates with Aiden Ross in the past, and Kai Sinat, I think. But apparently he got with her too. Put two and two together, right? I seen some shit. She contracted herpes in March. I had intercourse with her before my fight, which was February, I believe, I can't remember. I just missed the bit on my life. On everything I love. Yang donated one dollar. Melt it is okay. 90% of the yes, world January. has virus. Yes, January. January. So, so don't be mad if the test come back positive. I literally am saved by the bell. On my life, I was saved by the bell. My God is so good, chat. Now, the nigga y'all need to pray for is y'all man's Deshay. Y'all need to pray for uh, little Mike. Oh, I'm praying for them next. I'm praying for them niggas, not me. Danae then responded to Mel on her TikTok. So a nigga I used to f with is literally, um, I guess, trying to like gain something out of the situation. I don't know what the f he's trying to gain, but he's trying to act like I gave Bentley, Deshay, LaMike, a whole bunch of people. He's naming people that I didn't even f bro. But no, I didn't give any of them her. None of them have her, at least for me. I don't know what the f they got, but they don't got it for me. Kick streamer Aiden Ross shocked his viewers during a live stream after realizing he might have the H or something else too. During the stream, Aiden talked about his encounters with only can star Sky Bree. There's like this guy named Gucci Third Leg. He has 3,000 bodies. You talking about that fucking black with the on it now? Yes. Why are you looking at that? Are you gay? Convy, he f Sky Bree, bro. Wait, what? Yes. So you got me sick then? No, I haven't f Sky Bree in years. All right, well, they f years ago. So that means you when? That means you have it then, and you spreading it out.
So regardless if Aiden was actually scared of this situation, we don't know. But Aiden was definitely going to turn this into content and he did so with the one hour interview with him. During the stream, Gucci clarified his status, stating that he does not have the H. To prove his point, Gucci revealed his test results on stream, which showed he tested positive for HSV1. Okay. Um, okay, yep, I could see it. So it says here, yep, scroll down a little bit. I see it, yep, collected. And it says so, non-reactive okay. and negative. So as you see, if it says negative, negative, of course that means you do not have it. What's so boom. What are you positive for? What is that? Can you read that? It HSV1. says it says you're positive for HSV one. Yes. So what is that? Can you explain said, what that means? So positive for HSV one means you do not have. It means you have had probably like a cool sore more so um stuff like this and this is very common in the whole world right two or three people in the world have hsv1 so later in the interview dj academics and aiden ross still weren't confident in gucci's answer and saying that he doesn't have the h and as you can see in this next clip it starts to get real crazy um how confident am i that he does not have the virus at all i don't know because i would have to see his current test results which i mean clearly we're all waiting for the world is waiting for these test results Gucci, Gucci, what time tomorrow will you have the results? I want to say afternoon, only because I know mornings, you know what I'm saying, like kind of... Are, are you going to no, that one or no, Empower, as you said, or are you going to your own private physician? My own private, my own private. So, so if you're going to your own private physician, is then upon you, like, how can we verify? Because, again, your, your, your private physician can't... Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Uh, how will we be able to verify it? <laughs> I believe it. I just have to pull up on my phone. Honestly, you can't fake the truth on the phone, you know, and the truth is right there. So a couple minutes after that, Gucci decided to promote his own NFT. Yeah, and Aiden Ross wasn't having none of that. Blah, blah, blah. After this, Aiden interviews Danae, the victim, with DJ Academics. Uh, I know this is kind of a personal question, but I'm curious. And the reason why I'm curious, it's a two-pointer. Two how many bodies did you have before you caught? And then how many do you have after? And I just want to see where you're at with your life. Since everybody thinks I'm already nasty, I don't give a about telling my my body count. So Gucci was 44. Okay. Um, I am now at 58. So during the time and listen, 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 listen. <laughs> After Gucci, right? Before I found out that I'm 58 is crazy at the age of 20. We damn near the same age. I think that's insane to be honest, but you know, after this, they were supposed to do a follow-up stream with results if Gucci actually has the crotch crickets, but. The Gucci third leg, um, he's not answering us. He doesn't want to get on stream tonight. Are you going to buy his NFT? No, I'm not. Um, I can't get a response from Gucci third leg as of right now. We're trying, Tav is spamming him. I'm actually going to see if he has another update. Last time I checked was two hours ago. Um, so we're trying to get an update from him. Um, so that might be cooked. Uh, Respectfully, I don't think people give a about Gucci third leg like that. No, no, it's very viral right now. People want to know the follow up on this. Yeah, story. like five people on TikTok, and they're gonna forget in a week. Nah, it actually has like millions of views on X. Um, people want to know what the f his results are. Yeah, the man went ghost. Anyway, that's kind of where we stand right now. If you don't know, the H is not curable. It's treatable, but it's not curable as of now. This situation is insane, and something is telling me that this isn't even close to the end.